hello guys welcome to our channel today we are going to be talking about mongoose what is mongoose mongoose is a library that facilitates working with node.js express and mongo database or commonly called mongo db developers call it an object data modeling library or module because it's equally a node module and mongoose is actually very simple to use and makes life easy in the sense that mongoose creates a model or imitates the no sql or mongodb database structure through something called a schema a schema maps a database collection in a database and mongoose can equally be used to developers equally use mongoose to actually perform all the crude operations that a native mongodb driver would use for example on my screen you can see the code block which is actually used to save data into the database this code block it's actually strenuous at a certain level but with mongoose it's actually very easy to use very easy to save it equally helps you to write less code when your schema is done your model is being created then saving becomes so easier with just some few lines of code if you are new to mongodb and node.js please consider checking our website tricoder.com to actually learn more about node.js and mongodb since we won't be covering them in this video so let's get started just like in any other mongo db or a node.js kind of tutorial uh, 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 or module before using a module we actually install and so to install mongoose you simply need to open your command prompt through your project directory and type npm install mongoose and tap enter actually doing this requires a working internet connection and when you click enter it's going to be installed in your package.json file actually for my case i'm not going to install because i already have mongoose installed as a node module so let's start writing code open up your node your app.js file we are going to simply create a simple express app that uses mongoose to save a document or file or information in a database so we'll start off by requiring express and create an instance of express now we are going to equally require the mongoose module by following the same process mongoose require mongoose now let's add a functionality that helps us to create a schema that enables us to create a schema in our app and this is done via mongoose.schema now 
let's connect to our database using mongoose and this is done through mongoose.connect which takes the URL of a database connection string or database connection URL sorry and we are going to pass in the option use new URL parser and which we are going to leave it at true actually this is required so that you won't have an error this uh, error on your command prompt now let's add a URL just like for any MongoDB uh, Mongo database running locally the URL doesn't change it still runs on localhost and uh, to 7017 slash the name of our database and in this tutorial I'm going to use MongoDB Compass which is a G which is the GUI or the graphic user interface for Mongo database which makes it easier manipulating MongoDB data or um, operations without actually using the command prompt so now we have actually connected to our database using mongoose.connect now we are going to create a schema a schema is actually something like a structure defining a structure for your for the data or for your database collection or table for instance we are going to create a schema known as Call a uh, var my schema and which is going to set a structure our name is going to be a string And then website now assuming in this case we are actually creating let's say we are creating a schema for for the for for block comments and so the name is going to be a string and website equally a string okay so this is set after that it is very important to compile the schema to a model and so it's going to be saved in comments. Let's use comments. Var comments. So to actually compile the schema to a model, we are going to do that through the method mongoose.model, which takes in as parameter the name of the collection. In our database and the schema the schema we, create, we created above was my schema so it is very important when using mongoose it is conventional that the schema needs to be compiled to a model through mongoose.model because an instance of this model is a document so if we are about to save a document into our database we are simply going to create an instance of this model so let's create a variable X which is going to store the instance of this model an instance of this model name Remember, we declared in our schema that the name ought to be a string. And so, we are going to pass in my name and then a website. 
and we equally declare that the website is a string so we are going to pass in my website in some cases there are cases where you won't actually need to input to put this data yourself in our next tutorial we are going to see how we can get this data from a form a form where a user is going to fill and the data will be passed in as an instance of this model now let's create a, a route which is going to be used to save the document or the information or data we are going to create a home route now we are going to use the instance of the model we created to actually save the information passed in which matches the structure that was set up in our schema we are going to now see how to save that in a database and this is simply done using the method dot save where x represents an instance of the model we created on line 18 which is going to actually take a callback function which we are going to pass in the parameter error if there is an error console we lock the error on the console If there is no error, we simply log on the console done. And after that, we are going to return a response. successful our app will listen on port three thousand listening okay and this is done let's save our code and move to our console And run if everything works successfully we are going to get notified and yep this is it listening on port 3000 so let's move to our browser and write on to port 3000 and that is our result saved successfully now we are going to check our database to see if the data is actually was actually saved so let me load up my MongoDB compass. And so we can check and see.
and in this uh, context we are using the local host in mongodb compass mongodb compass equally has a functionality for connecting to your cluster online And you can equally notice we added a code which says when the data is saved successfully our console should log done and here is done just for proof let us connect to our database remember everything was saved in a cl the classroom database we are going to migrate to our classroom database and in the articles collection and so finally here is our data got will and the website thank you for watching if you loved the video and to get more videos please like subscribe and if you have any challenges you can always feel free to drop a comment thank you